In this video I will show you how to enable Windows Sandbox in Windows 10 and map a host folder into the Windows Sandbox. First you need to make sure that your system meet the requirements, Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise is needed and virtualization should be enabled. To check your Windows version, in the search box type sysinfo and click system information and you'll find the Windows version on the top line. Here I have Windows 10 Enterprise, so it will support it. And then to check if virtualization is enabled, right click the taskbar and choose performance and task manager. And here you see virtualization is enabled. In case virtualization is not enabled in your PC, you need to go to your PC's BIOS and enable the virtualization. Here I have a Dell PC, so when it starts, I need to press F12, it might be different for your PC, and then select BIOS setup and go down to virtualization support and then select to enable everything underneath it. So first enable Intel virtualization technology and then the other two options are to enable direct access to hardware for virtualized VMs. After you select everything, click Save and then Exit. Step 2. Enable Windows Sandbox feature in Windows 10. To do this, I'm going to use Windows PowerShell. So to launch PowerShell in the search box type PowerShell, right-click Windows PowerShell and choose Run as Administrator. And then type the following command, which will enable Windows Sandbox. You can use an alternative method, which is going to Windows Features to enable it, but here I'm showing you the PowerShell option. The command is enable Windows optional feature minus feature name containers minus disposable client VM minus all minus online. After you key in the command, press enter and wait for the installation to finish. When the installation finishes, the system will prompt you to restart. Press on yes on your keyboard and then hit enter. The system will restart. Here I'm showing you how the system will restart and it will install the feature. It takes a minute to restart maybe to install the feature. And then once the system restarts, just log back in and now we are ready to start the Windows Sandbox. There are two ways to start it. Either you started a vanilla startup which in the search box you type Windows Sandbox and then you click on Windows Sandbox. So it will start this way. The second method is you can create a configuration file to enable or disable certain features. I'll show you the, the second method after this one. So here we start the vanilla installation or a vanilla Windows Sandbox. So this here we are running Windows within Windows and this is a volatile environment. So anything you put inside after you shut down the sandbox, it will be deleted. So this only is good for testing things. And if you need a more permanent solution, you should go with the VM and Hyper-V or some other virtualization software. Here I'm showing you how I'm copying software from my host to the Windows sandbox. So I just selected the software I wanted to copy or any file you want to copy. Right click, select copy and go to the desktop in the Windows sandbox. Right click and select best. And here I just copied the Tor browser just to show you. Now when you select to shut down the Windows sandbox, it will give you an alert saying that everything will be deleted. The second option of launching the sandbox is by creating a configuration file, like the one I'm creating here. If you want to see it, just pause the video and take a good look at it. Here I'm mapping a host folder called ctemp that will show up in the sandbox when I run it. And I'm saying that this folder should be read only. Now you can say that this folder can also be read and write. Now I'm creating on my C drive the temp folder and you'll see I will copy some files in it. I'm choosing some files in it. I will choose some programs 
This way I can run them within the sandbox. Here I'm choosing a program called ASSSD. This is a benchmark for SSDs. And I'll be also copying the Tor browser to show you how the Tor browser will launch within the sandbox. So this is a configuration file. After you create it, I will put all these commands in the description. Save it and make sure that you put as an extension dot Windows Sandbox, which is WSB. And then save as type, select all files, otherwise Notepad will extend it with the .txt. And then click on save. Here you see I saved it on the desktop and it took the Windows Sandbox icon. If you double click this file, Windows Sandbox will start and it will map the folder. So here you see the mapped folder, the temp folder shows on the desktop. If you double click it, you'll see the files that are in the folder. But this is a read only folder, so you cannot write anything in it. And I'll demonstrate this to you in a second. First, I'm trying to run ASSSD directly from the folder. And you see it runs from the folder, but it's running in the context of the Windows sandbox. And then here I'll try to create something and you see I'll get an access denied. Which is good because if you're trying something risky in the sandbox, you don't want to cont contaminate your system. I'm copying the Tor browser from the mapped folder to the desktop to run it because it cannot run in a read-only drive, the Tor browser because it creates some cache files. So here I'll show you how it will run and how it will connect to the internet. Now, if you want to run and map the folder as a read-write folder, simply between the read-only, instead of putting true substitute true by false and it will work this way but i don't recommend this because windows sandbox is mainly to test things that might contaminate your system so here you see a tor browser started and i'm starting one of my videos on how to install linux if you want to see this video you can click on the top right corner of my video So now I'm shutting down the Windows Sandbox. And that was it for Windows Sandbox. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.